Welcome to day four of Leslie's Yoga Challenge. I am so excited that you're here. And remember to go on over to Instagram and hashtag LDW Yoga Challenge. So today we're standing up. I'm getting you guys up a little bit and getting some blood moving because we've been resting for the past three days. So this pose is mountain pose. How do you do mountain pose? I'm so happy you asked. So what you're gonna do is stand on up. So if you're not sitting, standing already, stand up. And you're gonna put your feet hip width apart. How do you know if your feet are hip width apart? I'll show you. So you take your two fists like so, come on down as much as you can, don't want you to fall over, but just come down and make sure your feet are on the outsides of your fists. That is your customized, personalized hip width apart. Then I want you to look down at your feet, okay? We have four corners of our feet. The feet are the foundation in standing poses. So it's important that we really focus on the feet in this pose. So look on down at your feet, and I want you to know that you notice that you have four, four corners of your feet. And I'll explain. So you have the tops of your feet, which are where your toes live. I want you to lean into those toes so your heels are gonna come up. Then I want you to come on the outsides of your feet. So this is corner two. And then your inner heels or soles will raise up. Then I want you to come on back onto your heels and use your wall, use that prop to support you as you come on back to your heels. Then lastly, the fourth corner is our inner, our inner soles of our feet. Once you come into that, noticing how your knees kind of come in a little bit. And now, now that you're aware of all four corners of your feet, I want you to press all four corners down into your mat. Good. So we just did a little bit of mindfulness there because I showed you how to be fully aware of all the four corners of your feet something I'm really passionate about. I talk about four corners of feet almost in every class. But anyways, so press all four corners now into your mat, okay? And then we're gonna come on up to our knees. Make sure you have a nice bend in those knees. So, you know, bounce a little bit. Come onto your glutes area and slightly engage your glutes. So that means squeeze those booty cheeks up together, but don't clench the jaw. It's interesting how those are connected. Then pay attention to your abdominal area. I want you to bring your belly button towards your spine. Can you automatically place your finger on your belly button like, or do you have to look? <laughs> so belly button towards your spine, very good. I want you to raise these shoulders up, up, up to your ears. These are where they are not gonna be. Back behind you and slide your shoulder blades down the upper part of your spine, good. Then you're gonna take your hands. You can have your hands like this, like you see in the picture, or you can be like this. When you're like this, you're actually opening up your shoulders, so you're getting some shoulder mobility when your palms are facing forward. Then you're just looking straight ahead, lifting up. So imagine somebody's pulling a piece of the hair in the middle of your head, up, up, up to the sky. This is mountain pose. So stand there for about three to five breaths. Make sure you're opening up your chest. You're standing proud. You're using those feet as your foundation, as your anchor to just show how powerful 